want to get what we need and get the hell out of here. Come on, I think I know which way to head. I got a bad feeling about this. Yep, I do too. For once, I agree with Ben. This shit ain't gonna go well. Just keep moving. Here. Looks okay. Everybody in. <laughs> hmm. Armory figures could bust the door down. Looks like they were using this room as some kind of command center. Okay, so now what? Where do we start looking? Here. Just give me a sec. Where can we find some fuel for the boat? There's a maintenance shed across from the playground here. If they were storing fuel, that's probably where it'll be. Where would be the best place to look for medicine? Right here. Nurse's station. They were using it as a medical facility. How do you know that? Just makes sense, doesn't it? So then we just need a battery. The Sato shop. Right next door. Yep, it's called Herman's. You can't miss it. Okay, I'll make the run to the maintenance shed for the fuel. It'll be faster if I go with you. I can take you right to it. I'll come too. No. Two people's enough. You stay here, see if you can use any of those tools we brought to get that armory door open. We might need to shoot our way out of here. I'll go for the medicine. I'll come with you. I know what to take. Okay. Guess that leaves me to go find us a battery. I'll go with you. Watch your back. Okay, we've got a plan. Everyone be careful. Stay close to one another. We'll all meet back here. Good luck. about me what can I do I need you to stay here with Ben and watch over our command center I'm putting you in charge of it okay you're leaving me with Ben I'm not leaving you with Ben I'm leaving him with you understand hmm oh okay I'm leaving him with you back before you know And then somebody just snaps her neck right in front of him. You okay, Clem? What the fuck? Yeah. Did I just rise from the floor? Just, just I'm gonna look back at that, I swear to gosh. I know it's weird, but I kinda miss it. Being in school. Me too. Used to be a teacher, remember? Tell you what, when we find ourselves a safe place, set up a little classroom. Just you and me. Will there be homework? No homework. The bane of every they child's they existence. Again, just like the way they were before. Yeah. It may take a while, but yeah, I do. Don't you? I hope 
so. That's good. You hold on to that hope. It's the one thing none of this can take away. Hey, you need any help with that? Thanks, I got it. Just once, I'd like to do something useful, you know? You're plenty useful. Huh, yeah, right. Seems like all I ever do is get us into trouble. Well, I'll let you get on with it. No, wait. There is something you can help me with. Something that's been on my mind. I could use your opinion. What is it? It's Kenny. Since I've been helping him work on the boat, I've gotten to know him a little better. He's a good guy, you know? And it's eating me up knowing what I know. I've been thinking about telling him the truth. Ben, come on. This again? It's my fault Doc and Katya got killed. If I hadn't screwed up back at the motor inn, they'd still be alive. How am I supposed to just carry something like that around me? I have to tell him. I agree. I think you should tell him. Just not now. You don't get it, do you? What am I supposed to do whenever he talks about Katya and Duck? Just nod and pretend like it wasn't my fault. I can't do it anymore. Ben, listen. Kenny seems like he's got his shit back together because right now he's got a purpose. But he's still in a real bad place. You tell him now, he's gonna lose it. And then we're all screwed. There'll come a time when he's ready to hear it. But it's not now. Not yet. I hear you. I'm gonna get back to this. Yeah, don't f don't tell him. That'll fuck us over. Honestly, will. It'll be like, God damn it, Ben! I'm gonna fucking kill you! And then it's gonna be like, Oh God, no! I'm sorry, Kenny. I'm sorry. I thought we were friends. And it's like, No, no, we're not friends. I'm gonna fucking slaughter you. I'm gonna fucking eat out your fucking face with a fucking spoon. The alleyway like to the auto shops down here. You coming or not? I'm coming, bitch. I'm coming. All over your face. Oh! Ooh, a bloody locker. I wonder what's inside. Can't open it without the combination. I have a dirty tampon in there. Not really. Shuffling, shuffling, walking really fucking slow. Out here, There's someone going that way. The fuck is that sound? It sounds like oh, what the fuck. Why would I climb over to see what's there? Damn. Damn, damn. Well, climbing the fence isn't an option. How did you not break your legs? Damn, it's jammed tight. That zombie was floating. Gosh damn it. Oh, 
Oh god. Leave him. He's mine. What were you doing up there? with you what's the matter never seen someone kill a geek before not like that he's wearing medical scrubs some kind of scientist or doctor maybe yeah well he ain't shit now <sighs> did you find us a way in yeah but the garage door's jammed can't raise it Not a problem. Look what I found. Oh yeah, that'll work. Those are the cheapest fences I've ever seen in my life. That is such a cheap fence. Come on. Are you kidding me? It's it's as if it was put there with freaking plastic. It was being held together by plastic. Not even aluminum foil. And he's still alive. I saw that fucking hand move. Are you honestly fucking kidding me right now? Take a look around. I'll make sure no stragglers get under this door. Make sure no kneecaps get under the door. Oh, I'm sorry. Mine are a bit too big. No power. Oh man, no knees. Looks like it's the hose for the lift hydraulics. Well, I can see where the battery should be, but it's not. Perfect. Who the fuck would just steal a battery, fucking... Something you need? What was all that about back there? He came at me up on that rooftop, tried to take a bite out of me, so I took care of business. What, you got a problem with me killing geeks? It just seemed like you went to town on him a little more than you needed to. Hey, you never really know when those things are all the way dead. I was just making sure. Look, you want to get this battery or not, time's wasting. Think I can borrow that uh, hook thing of yours? I don't know. Hilda and I have been through a lot together. Hilda. Hilda. That's what I call her. Don't judge. Please, can I borrow Hilda? I'll take good care of her. She won't get a scratch. Hilda, Hilda, Hilda. I got your promise now. Not a scratch. I can't reach it up there. It's locked. No way in. Did it? Whoa, whoa! That's probably not good. No shit! I'll try to hold them off. Hurry! There's the battery. Finally, something goes right. Still attached to the terminals. The fuck? Still attached to the terminals. It's off. Could just you could kick out the hydraulic thing. Ass. 
or whatever the 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 jack you could kick out the jack underneath the door you could swing at them And then somehow they're gonna know we went back inside the building. Okay, so now we're on the roof. Do you ever stop complaining? Come on. Jesus Christmas. Come on, what are you, chicken? Jump. What did you call me? Well, now that you mention it. Well, now that you mention it. I would have never done that in a million fucking years. Fuck that. There was a way down right- There was a miniature roof in front of the building too. You could have just hopped onto and then jumped down and get back inside. But no, we had to take the fucking route where I could have died. Something I gotta do first. What? Catch you later. Wait, you've still got the battery. Yeah, I think I'll hold on to it. Make sure you don't leave without me. See you back in class. Molly! Damn it, what the hell is she doing? Well, she got us killed. We're all gonna fucking die. Can't open up without the combination. Combination, these nuts. I don't give a fuck. Just fucking. Mm. You guys need any help? Thanks, but I think we're almost in. We're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry. Hey, we're taking care of it, Lee. Don't worry me. Shut the fuck up. It's on the photo. Must be the guy who ran this place. Looks like he figured himself as some kind of supreme leader. And then when the day came, he fucking died. He couldn't take the heat. Oh shit. Oh god. Squeeze his fucking head. Close the door. And stop them from coming in. And it goes back to calm, peaceful music. You're back. Yeah, we made out pretty good too. Great work, Kenny. How you doing with that door? Not so good. Here, let me give you a hand. Did you get that battery yet? Yeah, Molly has it. She should be back here soon. She'd better be. Bree? Hey, Lee. Thanks for all your help back there. I don't think we would have made it without you. No problem. We're all on the same team. Yeah. So you're a cancer survivor, like Vernon and the others. Yeah, I was diagnosed when I was in college. Been getting treatment ever since. Just when I was starting to get better, and I thought there might be some hope, all of this happened. Lost my whole family. I'm the only one who survived. Funny how things work out, huh? What do you think about this whole Crawford situation? I'd rather not talk about it. Too many awful memories. Even being back here gives me a bad feeling. Even now, with 
Everyone dead? I got no sympathy for what happened to these people. They weeded out the sick and the old, even children, those least able to defend themselves so that they could save their own skins. Whatever happened here, however Crawford fell, I consider it poetic justice. Damn, girl, that's cold. It's how I feel. If you'd seen what I seen, you would feel the same. How long have you known Bert? Couple of years. He ran our support group. He was really great, helping me come to terms with my disease. But how do you come to terms with something like this? With a place like Crawford? I don't know what I or, or the other survivors would have done without Vernon. He's the one who held us together, kept us alive. I'm a little busy here, Lee. Maybe you should go get that battery or help with the medicine. <laughs> 